and a warm message to everyone present over here, especially sir. So, introducing me, Mamata Ratipalli and my team. I am Dalpanu. I am Anjali. I am Mamma Manishwari. So, here, these are all the contents that we are going to cover. So, at first, what is AI? So let me get to the point straight away. AI is a simulation of human intelligence processed by machines. So here, before getting to our topic, let me ask a question. How do you go home? I mean by train, by car, by bus like that. By train. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, most of you guys go home by train, right? Yes. Have you ever witnessed a train accident? No. At least you must have heard about it, right? Yes. Yes. So here, okay, sorry if I remind you about it. So here, our topic is about train and train accidents, named Railway Rakshak and I am here to give a brief introduction about this topic and the motive behind this, like what made us to choose this topic and why we chose this topic. So as we all know, in our country, the railway transportation system is a cheap and majority convenient mode of passenger transport and as well as for uh, long distances. So here comes train accidents. Why this train accident occur? Well, the main cause of the train accident that are taking place in railways is because of unrevealed cracks and obstacles. So, do you have any idea like any other other reasons which are responsible for this train accidents? Anyone? Well, of course there may be, but the major reasons which are responsible for this train accidents are unrevealed cracks and obstacles. So here. We all are aware of some of the incidents through social media, TV channels like that. So, it's not about tens or hundreds, but it's about thousands of people who may lose their life if train accident happens. What if the particular person is a chief age of the family? It affects his family too. So here, we thought, if our system can able to find this problem, can detect this problem and can able to get rid of this problem, then it will be helpful for everyone. So, just give me two minutes. Uh, let me share a short story. I hope you don't feel boring. So, you all know Moksha Kunda Mishweshwaraya Garu, right? Yes. Yes, you must know because you all are Indianers and he is the father of India. Right? So, one day, he was traveling in a train and he was sleeping. And suddenly he woke up and went to uh, chain and pull off the chain. And everybody around him be like, why did you do this? What made you do this? Why did you, uh, why did you do this stupid thing? And he replied, there is a crack on this track far away from here. I just can't believe how could he uh, recognize that. He could recognize that crack with just difference in sound vibrations while he is sleeping. I think it's not possible for everyone. So uh, the thing that I want to convey with this uh, is that since everyone cannot be Moksha Gurna Visheshwaraya Garu, we need to have a new technology and that have to detect this and which will be effective and uh, efficient stable for both crack detection and as well as obstacle detection. So here uh, we came up with a pro uh, project named Railway Rakshak and our project aims for designing railway track crack detection system and using some of the components like ultrasonic sensor uh, which is used to detect the crack and GPS, GSM, you all are familiar with that and IR sensor uh, etc. So here I hope I'm making sense. I hope you got me. And the functionalities and the technical terms will be taken by Kalpana. Just wait. Well, but can explain introduction and motivation of our project. Let me explain about how our system works. In existing system, cracks on the tracks can be identified by using visual inspection and video streaming method. Visual inspection is the oldest method in which components are scanned visually. In video streaming method, we use a web camera to identify the cracks on the tracks by continuous monitoring of the tracks. But this system is cannot recognize the small cracks on the tracks and it cannot give the accurate values. That's why we need to go for a new technology to identify the cracks on the tracks. Our system is recognize the small cracks and it gives the accurate values. This system is consists of ultrasonic sensors, DSM, GPS model, Arduino VNO, IR sensors and LCD. Next, Arduino ENO. Arduino ENO is an open source program of Google. It is used to transmit the signal waves and it is used to identify the cracks on the tracks. Next, ultrasonic sensors. Ultrasonic sensor is an electrical device. It is used to identify the cracks 
on the gas by generating the ultrasonic sensor. It converts electrical energy into sound waves in which we use transducers. Transducers nothing but probes that are capable of both transmitting and receiving the signals. The probes are fixed into the railway tracks. The probes are fixed into the railway tracks. One transducer is transmitting the signal waves. Another transducer will receiving the signal waves. This is the way of this is the way to ultrasonic waves traveling along the railway track. If any gap is occurred in between two transmitter, the waves are attenuated. Decrease the intensity of the waves received by transmitter B. Remaining amount of the waves are reflected back to the transmitter A. Suppose if any track is broken, transmitter B not able to receive any signal. Waves are reflected back to the transmitter A. Next, IR sensor. IR sensor is used for identifying the obstacles on the railway tracks. An IR sensor has built-in IR transmitter and IR receiver. IR energy sends the IR sensor sends the IR energy to detect the obstacle present or not in front of the system. If obstacle is present, then the IR energy reflected back and it gives the SMS by using GPS model. GPS model is nothing but global positioning system. Using GPS model, we can find the exact location, latitude and longitude of the obstacle. And it gives the SMS by using GSM model. GSM model is nothing but global system for mobile communication and it consists of USB, Bluetooth and mobile phone. GSM model allows programs like SMS, transmit and receive messages, the model interface. And we use LCDs. LCD is used for displaying the outputs. It displays crack detector when there is a presence of crack on the right radar. Similarly, it displays obstacle detector when there is a presence of obstacle on the right radar. At last, if a after detection of crack or obstacle, the message will be sent to the person who is taking responsibilities of the control room. And after the immediate action taken by the railway staff. This is the how our project. This is the explanation of how our project uh, works. Next topics are covered by my friend. Over to one minute. Okay, well, I hope you all got uh, how our system works and uh, about our system. As you know, every system has both advantages as well as disadvantages. Moving to the advantages of our system. First one. One of the causes of train accident is track on the tracks on the tracks. So this system detects the tracks on the track, which uh, prevents train accident and save save many lives. And next one, this system, this system have automatic color system, which send the exact location to the navigation master as a message. And this system, this, this system uses wireless signal transmission, which is an another advantage. And this system gives response to the control room so that they take necessary action to avoid train accidents. It is more easy to uh, maintain and easy to repair and the system is the system detects the tracks on the tracks very efficiently. And lastly, there are some areas like mountain areas and uh, forest areas where tra train tracks are there. In such areas you may cannot go and find tracks on the tracks. So this system is very helpful in in such areas to, to detect the crack but without any human intervention. Now, moving to the disadvantages of our system. This system is, uh, this system requires high cost to design and this, is, this system may, may not give accurate and appropriate results always and this system takes more time to detect the crack on the track and this system is complicated in construction. These are few advantages and disadvantages of our system. Now, my teammate Uma Vaishwari will continue further. Yeah. Well, moving on, moving on to the limitations, every part has some weakness. Similarly, our system also consists of some defects, those are the limitations. And coming to the point, in some areas like uh, high altitudes and snow covered areas, and uh, the track may be built up with the ice. So, in that situation, we may face difficulty to find out the tracks on the tracks. And during night times also, where we have lack of light, 
and they may face the difficulty to find out the accurate crack on the track. And next, uh, uh, when in, uh, as we all know that, trains can also move under the chaos. They, in this situation also, we see we have lack of light. So, we face problem. And next, accurate detections are not, may not be detected somewhere. And if you may find out the crack and send signals to the control system, but with the limited time and the uh, with the high speed of train, we can't control that train uh, before it may attach to the crack. And this leads to the dangerous accident. And next thing, uh, in during summers, in summer seasons, uh, we may see the tracks may be expand and gaps are built up between the uh, railway lines. And our system, sometimes our system may consider these gaps as a tracks. So these are the limitations of our system. And next, let us look into the references. And we have referred this article from Arduino by Gokul Ramamurthy and General Railway Tracker Detection by Arun Kumar and Vanishan Joseph, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And next, moving on to the conclusion, as our country like India, uh, with high population, people choose to travel through train transportation. So, it is our responsibility to make it comfortable and safe journey. So, here we came up with the idea, railway track track detection, which detects the flaws and obstacles on the surface, uh, on the surface of the track. And this proposal system has lots of advantages over conventional uh, detecting approaches that reduce the energy consumption, as well as uh, which efficiency detecting system without human involvement and, uh, and has limited time consumption. And uh, this proposal system is not only overcome all these problems, but also help uh, but also improve in accuracy in detecting the tracks. And this is the main uh, economical solution in order to achieve the good results of uh, railways of our country in order to reduce the accidents occur. And by this system, we can serve many precious lives of passengers and loss of economy. And we can also save time and money by for detecting the time and de detecting the tracks in the tracks. And as we all know that life is more pressure than anything else. So not only we, from you can also implement this AI so that many precious lives can be saved. And we have further developed for some ideas on this project. And uh, the main aim of um, our main aim is to save lives, either it may be animal or human being. If we have system like object detection, it may be helpful for the animals to save their life and the people who want to suicide. And this system also helpful for their family members for providing some information regarding that particular person. And I have a small quote uh, on safe journey. So that is, go safe and move safe, stay safe, live safe, and then back safe. Thank you. And we have small video regarding the art title detection. And here it goes. Hope you have, hope you all have safe journey in all the situations. And thank you, thank you sir for giving this opportunity. And thank you my dear friends for your valuable time and patience. Thank you. Thank you. We must uh, thank uh, team Rakshak uh, for saving the uh, human life and also uh, the animals. Because uh, uh, Mamata, Kalpana, Mama Maheshwari and Anjani. Uh, I think you took a very good topic uh, 
because even uh, the last week we have seen an incident uh, happened uh, with uh, one of the women and uh, it was very unfortunate uh, you know, and uh, we, we see this regular happening uh, where you know uh, problem is the over speed or maybe sometimes you know it will not be in the hands of the driver to control the engine because uh, driving in the train uh, is a different uh, thing when compared to other vehicles. I think your uh, project will help out moving in the right direction and it's uh, also good that you have addressed some merits and demerits and uh, I think your project is more connected with some hardware components also uh, along with the technology uh, having on the hands of AI. I think uh, you must also address in your project with respect to high cost, the complicated uh, construction, fixing the cracks and all your limitations will be addressed in your upcoming uh, project. Hope you will come up with an uh, railway rakshak uh, having a safe journey to all the passengers and also you keep our animal uh, environment safe from these accidents. So very soon we'll see an application coming up saving the human life and also animal life uh, from our RGKT Passer campus. Thank you all.